Hello, my name is Imran Yusuf. Just come back from the United States of America. It's a pretty cool country, but you know, some of those guys on border control need to learn some manners. And so I thought I'd fly over there and teach them some. The moment I land there, it's like, hey, what do you think you're doing here in the United States of America, huh? What is the nature and purpose of your business here in the US of A? And so I told him, well, first, I'm going to kill all the natives and steal their land. <laughs> then I'm going to build the country off the back of African slaves. Hmm? And when they start complaining about racism, I'm going to stick them into ghettos full of guns, alcohol, and crack cocaine. But who looked like somebody beat me to it, hey? <laughs> Then that immigration boy gets proper upset. He's like, hey, hey, don't give me any lip there, chief. Like, chief, how pale face. <laughs> you can step off that high horse now, because you ain't the Lone Ranger. Mm. And my name ain't Tonto. But believe I got a totem pole for you all to suck. <laughs> so after I came back from Guantanamo Bay, <laughs> You want to say, it's nice to be here in a Muslim-majority country. It's nice to have, finally have some people on my team. <laughs> okay, we know, we understand the pressure to constantly humanize ourselves to the world and the country that we live in, and I'm getting fed up of it. I'm always having to be seen saying the right thing at the right time. I'm always on social media, on Twitter. I follow a group called Anonymous. You've probably heard of these guys. They use the image of Guy Fawkes from that film V for Vendetta. As I'm following them, they posted a picture of a thousand Muslim people in Germany protesting against ISIS, against the extremism of ISIS. And they said, hey, man, you need to retweet this image because the mainstream media will never cover it. And I thought, you know what? You're right. The mainstream media is never going to cover this. And I need to retweet this image because I belong to that community that's often told that they don't do enough to speak out against the extremist factions within their own. So I'm going to retweet this image of a thousand Muslim people in Germany protesting against ISIS, and I'm going to change the world. <laughs> because that's all it's going to take is hashtags and armchair activism. <laughs> I swear to God, if you keep it up, there's someone on the front line of ISIS right now going, oh no, someone just called me gay on Facebook. <laughs> right? And they hate that because one of his friends has liked it, and now there's suspicion in the group. <laughs> I'm just saying it might be a worthwhile tactic, yeah? Because you can't bomb ISIS into defeat. You can just start homophobic suspicion, and they'll take care of themselves. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we'll save a lot of money. We're just going to end up with a lot of broken hearts. <laughs> and assholes. So I've retweeted this image of a thousand Muslim people in Germany protesting against ISIS. I feel good about myself. But some American guy has seen what I've done, and he tweets me back. And he goes, hey, pal, don't fall for those propaganda. Everybody in that photo is responsible for 9-11. I know. Now, this is a pretty insane thing to say. Now, I don't want to get involved with this guy, because he's clearly bananas. But he's made me laugh, so I've got to say something. All I said to him was, well, now that we have a photo of all of them, <laughs> now, to be honest, he didn't find it that funny. <laughs> and he came at me, he started calling me names. Now, I thought you'd grow out of calling people names after you leave school, but he didn't care. He came at me thick and fast. He started calling me this word. I'd never heard this word before. Check it out. He started calling me Muzi. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you, 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 uh, muzi, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I don't feel that I can feel offended by the word muzi. Muzi just sounds like it's the name of a cuddly Ewok from Return of the Jedi. <laughs> right? And we all love those guys, don't we? Hmm? Very simple people. They help bring down an empire. I like that. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> One for the ancestors. <laughs> so he's calling me these names. I thought, you know what? I don't want to lower myself to his level, OK? I'm a grown adult, OK? I don't have time for his childish foolishness. But you know what? He started it, so I insulted his mother. <laughs> so now that I've claimed the moral high ground, 
look, what's important here is that I was winning. And the whole of the internet knew that I was winning because I was retweeting this to all my fans because that's how much of a child I am. <laughs> Everybody knew my name that day, hashtag Imran Yusuf. Mm. <laughs> and that's when he pulled out his ace card. He stopped calling me Muzi and he started calling me Cabby. That's when I had to draw the line. Like, you, 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 you are a very naughty man. I mean, it was all fun and games up until this point. But now, now, I'm gonna have to educate you. Yeah. Not all of us drive cabs. You might have observed that some of us can fly planes too. And then he blocked me. <laughs> um, I went to Norway recently. I'd never been to anywhere in Scandinavia, and I was very, very excited about it. Um, and when I got there, I realized the massive mistake I'd made when I went there and hadn't taken a coat. Because <laughs> it is cold in Scandinavia, OK? Their eyes are blue because they're freezing to death. Right? I'm there, Oslo Airport, Norway. I'm like, this is cold. I just jump into a cab, and I'm like, I just need to get to my hotel. And I look at the cab driver, like, excuse me, oh, whoops, sorry, do you speak any English? And that's when I realized I'd made my first mistake. Because this cab driver just looked at me in the rearview mirror and did what he's done probably like a hundred times before to somebody else. He just went. <laughs> and that's when I knew I was in trouble. Because this guy doesn't speak any English. And I haven't learned a word of Norwegian. So what do you do? So we just did the obvious thing and spoke to each other in Hindi. <laughs> so after we had tea at his house, <laughs> hadn't seen my uncle for years. <laughs> he used to be a pilot. He gave it up, something about negative stereotypes. <laughs> Got an argument with somebody on Twitter. It really upset him. Traveling is great. If you travel, it's a great antidote for prejudice. It's an amazing thing to do. And you know what? I want to continue to travel. I'm not going to live my life in fear. Nobody should live their life in fear because that's what the bad guys want. They want you to live in fear and you shouldn't do that. So I travel and I go to America because you know what? America, for all its sins and for all the extremism that's going on there at the moment, right? It's actually a pretty cool place. American people are full of optimism, full of positivity. It's a great culture out there. They've just got to get control over their white supremacy issues, right? <laughs> Don't be scared to laugh. They're not here. <laughs> Ain't no white supremacy in Malaysia going, we're going to take over. That tastes good. Mm. <laughs> That's our weapon is our cuisine. That's it. <laughs> OK, some of you look at me going, no, our cuisine is weapon. Your cuisine is not weapon. <laughs> Your cuisine is fish and chips, Mr. British. To, um, I, I love going out to the States. I have a lot of family in America, and I love going out there. And uh, my cousin uh, was getting married, and I'm like, I'm going to go to America. I'm really looking forward to this, right? Um, so, you know, I buy my ticket. I make my way over there to the airport. And I'm like, I'm really looking forward to this journey. And um, just before I uh, get on the plane, just before you get on that bendy tube, the one that has all the HSBC adverts on it, that tries to convince you that capitalism is working equally for everybody around the planet at all times. <laughs> Seven socialists in tonight. Thank you very much for coming. Out. <laughs> right, just before I step on the plane uh, to get on to to, uh, to fly to America, I get pulled aside by security staff going, "Excuse me, sir, uh, you've been randomly selected for a search." <laughs> of course I have. <laughs> and it's like I was livid. Now I was like, "Come on, man, this isn't a random search. This is racial profiling. This is all about the color of my skin, the name that I got, the religion that I'm affiliated to. This is unethical. This is immoral, and you shouldn't do it. Shame on you." But when I got there, it turned out it was perfectly random. Yeah. It was just me and these three black guys. <laughs> Which, to be honest, I was very happy about.
because I found them very suspicious at the time. <laughs> I'm not getting on that plane. <laughs> they might kick off, start complaining about snakes or something. I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> about 20% of you have seen that film. <laughs> the rest of you are going, yeah, they sneak on reptiles, la, seen it. American aquatic athlete, Olympic champion. Michael Phelps. Yay! Don't make promises about boats. Titanic. <laughs> yeah, that's it, correct. Your worst oral nightmare realized. A girl with braces. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's a lot worse than that. It's a film. Your worst oral nightmare. Vampires from Dust Till Dawn. Where would you not want your mouth to be? Well, I don't know. It might be a good night out for you. Uh, Medusa. Unfortunately, it is a human centipede. Oh. <laughs> yeah. A little ATM humor, huh? Hey, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed my video, good for you. You're obviously a highly sophisticated and cultured individual who appreciates the delicate nuance of performative satire. So please remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel. All of your love really helps make the world a better place. If you'd like to watch more of my stand-up, click here for the next video in the playlist. If you'd like to see sketches from my TV pilot, The Imran Yusuf Show, please click here. Thanks again for watching. I hope to see you at a show sometime.